Where's the dance? Where'd it go? Hair's out of control these days. Alright, welcome back. Um, this video is going to be a lot of information being put out. Lifters, push rods, push rod covers, and rocker arms are going to go in. And a whole lot of knowledge coming out. I didn't realize until after editing how much my dumbass was in the way. So I actually cut a lot of stuff out. I feel like I was able to splice a lot of good information together and make it not confusing. Let me know if that's different, because... Yeah, I had to delete a lot of stuff. So enjoy the video. This is a good one. Like I said, a lot of good information is getting put out in this video. A lot of little things you need to do when you're doing this part of an engine on a Harley. Specifically, orientation of the push rods, orientation of the lifters, um, the need to tighten and torque the rocker arms before doing the lifter covers. It's a whole thing. You'll see. But enjoy the video. It's a good one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start doing these lifters. Uh, these are the fueling... Oh, fuck. These are the fueling lifters. The HP Plus lifters, part number 4000. God damn it. There we go, part number 4000. Now in the fueling installation instructions, it says you need to get a oiler. I got this pistol oiler. And there are these little fill holes on the side. Right here. And you just need to take the oiler and put oil inside of here. Uh, it says until the air bubbles stop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then get these lubed up with assembly lube and then drop them in. Uh, when you install these, you want to have all of the fill holes facing the same direction and the anti-roll pins are going to go on this flat surface right here on the top side. Yeah, that made a little bit of a mess. Um, whatever, it's oil, it's going to happen. Uh, so basically, yeah, you squirt oil in this hole and then I noticed the air bubbles coming out of the top here and then once this started filling up with oil, that's what you're done. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop these into the case and get the anti-roll pins in. Now this does explicitly say to use assembly lube on both the lifters and the lifter bores. So I'm going to apply a liberal amount as I always do. Okay, as you can see, they are in correctly facing, I have all the oil fill points facing towards the engine in this way and the anti-roll pin is going to go right here you can see the flat surfaces on both sides flat surface so let me go ahead and get those anti-roll pins in there and these are as simple as just dropping them in there's no special tool for this just put them in, make sure they're flat so they don't roll good to go now from here, even on the fueling instructions, it says to refer to the owner's manual for the rest of the installation. It says to rotate the engine until the lifters are at um, the lowest position. And basically the lifters top surface will be flush with the flat surface here. So these back ones are already at that spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the gasket on put the cover on and then bolt these in and then once these are done I'm going to go ahead and do that to this side I got to rotate the engine until these are both um, bottom bottomed out Okay, got these torqued down, um, 90 to 120 inch-pounds again. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and jack the bike up, rotate the back wheel and get these lifters um, bottomed out as these ones were. There we go. All right, now let's do the same thing. 
gasket, cover, torque, done. started on the push rods and the push rod covers and the actual rocker arms so what I have so far is all four of the covers in place will set up with new o-rings on the tops and bottoms of each of them and I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on there and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them onto their respective um, homes on here I guess and then the push rods will go into the top and now they are labeled separately again these are the fueling thick wall yeah this is exhaust and then this one says intake and they are different lengths and these just like I did with the lifters they have holes in the top you just need to get your little oil squirt can and fill them up I already did that so these are good to go but, oh. Okay, rods are going in. Again, exhaust and intake on the correct side. So it's gonna be exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust. Um, again, if you're using the same push rods, make sure they are in the same spot, orientated the same way. These ones don't matter because they're new, but keep that in mind. So exhaust. Okay, now here is where I'm actually going to put the rocker arms on here. And remember the O-rings in the bottom? Replace those O-rings. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then they're going to go ahead and get tightened down. Uh, just do them in a crisscross pattern. There's only four bolts on there, so just like I did when I took them off. One, two, three, four, or, or whatever. Sorry, battery died. So, uh, what I did was go ahead and torque these four bolts down, crisscross, 15 to 18 foot pounds. And then um, I can't really explain very well how I put these caps on here. So, I'm going to just show you on the next video. I'm going to zoom in real close. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this side, the front cylinder. Uh, go ahead and put the rockers on, put the bolts in, and then tighten them down and torque them down. Same exact thing, and then I'll zoom in on here and show you how I did that in a little bit more detail. Rockers are both torqued down. Um, now I'm going to show you a little, I don't even want to say trick, but something I just sort of did with this rear cylinder with these um, covers. Because these ones are just kind of, they're in here, right? These little locking plates are not in here. So what you want to do is line up the top O-ring into its housing up top on the head. You're going to want to push this down and wedge this in here and it'll lock the top and bottom o-ring in place. Flathead screwdriver is going to be all you need and I'll show you. I'm going to zoom in on here so I can show you exactly what I'm doing. Get back up there. Okay. There we go. That's what you want. That's what you want right there. Basically this cap to lock this plate in 
and then this plate and the spring are going to push against the top and the bottom o-rings on the lifter cover and the head i'm gonna do it again on this one but hopefully that i wasn't too much in the fucking way okay see how i'm using the screw damn it see how i'm using the screwdriver here to push down that's what you want to do and then make it down to the next fin that should be more than enough room to get this in here slide in from the bottom first and then wedge it in on the top there we go that's in all right i kind of cut that video off right in not necessarily the middle of something but at a good stopping point not necessarily the way i stopped filming You'll see why that makes sense in next week's video because I did not want to jump into that shit um, and make this video f going from, you know, 10, 11 minutes to 20. I thought I was going to get the whole valve train done this week, but as you can see, there's a lot going on. So next week's video is going to be the breathers and then the top of the breather box is getting that torqued down. I know I've said this f a million times already, but then it's going to be carb and then starting. So hopefully starting this thing in the next two, three videos at the most. I promise you it's going to be worth the wait. I have a feeling this thing's going to sound fucking insane. So as always, thanks for watching the videos. Um, I'm working hard on these, busting my ass, doing things way outside of my comfort zone to include talking to a camera in my garage by myself. Yeah, as always, new videos coming out every Thursday. I'm trying to get a little bit more creative with the editing, uh, like I did with the torquing in this one. I just kind of cut and spliced all the torquing at once instead of doing all that fade out and fade in stuff. I think it looks kind of cool. Maybe that's just me. So, yeah, comment, like, subscribe. I'm getting a few more subscribers every video, which is good. Seeing the channel grow. Good feedback from people, um, either comments in here or Instagram or DMing me and whatnot. Like I said, next week's video is going to be the final part of the engine build, minus the carb. Super excited about that. It's real straightforward. A um, couple of O-rings here and there, a couple of last minute torquing sequences, and then it's done. So, see you next week. Um, yeah, Thursday, trying to do it around 5 p.m. Central from now on. So stay tuned. Enjoy. Thanks again.